serval. Serval. Is that a serval? It is. It's, oh my gosh, that's incredible. That's fantastic. Look at its colors. It's just stepped out onto the road in front of us. I cannot believe this. They never stand like this for us, everyone. They're never this relaxed. Look, he's looking for a rodent, looking for a rodent to eat, and just slinking off into the bush. Coming towards us. This makes up for all my lack of success today and on any other day. Ha-ha. Last we see of it, but this one seems to be so confident. I think these things are a lot more common than we think they are. I think we just don't see them. They're pretty secretive. Wow. You're never going to see another picture of a server like this, everyone. This is, this is unbelievable. It's completely relaxed. It's totally unreactive unre to us. ears to listen for rustling in the bushes from any kind of rodent and they leap high up into the air and then sort of fall down on their potential prey like I say normally rodents I suppose you can't really tell the size of it it's like an enormous house cat it weighs probably about 13 or kilograms maybe no maybe but but kilograms 10 or 11 kilos, just over 20 pounds, quite tall, so probably about, I don't know, about a foot and a half, two feet, no, two feet at the shoulder. But you just look like your house cat, doesn't it? This is awesome, this is unbelievable. I've never seen a server like this. Just strolled merrily onto the road in front of us. I wish you could really see its colours. I don't think this. Well, I suppose the camera's sort of doing it justice, but it—it's golden. It's like a—it's a golden colour, like a leopard is a golden colour. It comes. in front of us. Just try and sneak forward. Of course, this car doesn't sneak anywhere. Completely relaxed. Cannot actually believe this. How cool is that? It's sitting pristine and cat-like. It sits very neatly, just like a house cat does. They will apparently tame quite nicely if you, if you get one as a kitten, you know, if you get an orphaned serval. Uh, listening there. Now, we were talking about the senses and the most important senses. For an animal like this, I think you'll find that the most important sense of those ears. They listen for the scurrying of nocturnal rodents in the night. So you say it looks like a cross between a leopard and a caracal. It does a bit, doesn't it? But it's interesting how that striped and spotted pattern has evolved in lots of different animals from different kind of, uh, different genus genera, if you like. The different genus from the leopard. The leopard is Panthera, this one is Felis. So this thing looks like your house cat because it is much more like your house cat than a leopard is. It's the same genus as a caracal. It's a bit smaller than a caracal. Caracal's much more thickly set. And this one, rather than leaping up into the air to catch birds, which I'm sure some of you have seen caracal doing, will leap up and kind of 
fall down, come out of the sky onto the rodents that it likes to eat. Heidi, I think it's a, I think it's an impression you're getting. I'm not sure that that's true. You say that the head is so small compared to the body. It's not really. It's a, the same proportions as a house cat would be. Maybe slightly smaller. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll give you that. I'm not sure why it would be. I guess a bit like a cheetah, which has got a very small head, but I mean, that's specifically for speed. This is, this is absolutely incredible, people. You don't see this. This doesn't happen. Just marking his territory there, his or her. Couldn't begin to tell you what, what that one was. I'm going to see if we can get one last view around the corner here. Uh, no, that's it. Oh, no, it's gone. Ha! Isn't that unbelievable? Well, Rebecca reckons he's looped back. I think he is in that thicket, actually. I saw some eyes. But I don't see him there. Rebecca, how on earth did you manage to see that? Another one for Louise. Apparently it wasn't Rebecca. She very kindly handed the credit over to Louise, the nightjar spotter, and now serval spotter. Dave, you just tell me when you get a decent picture. I've just lost the visual. I'm not looking behind us. <laughs> Let's just see if we can find him quickly. If we can't, we'll leave him be. Much better going forward, David. No. No, I think he's gone, everyone. There, no, there he is. He's even closer than he was before. Can you believe this? I, I, I'm absolutely gobsmacked by this. How's this? This is really awesome. How quietly he walks. And the tail is very short. Rebecca's just noticed. Yes, the tail on the caracal and this cat is very short. They don't, they're not ambush predators in the same way that the other cats are. They are. They're much more sort of leaping predators, I guess you'd call them. Here he goes. He has not so much as looked at us once. Not while I've been talking, not when we start the car. He's completely ignoring us. So we are going to, chaps, we're just going to keep watching this. So, I mean, if you're expecting the show to close, we're going to keep watching until the serval disappears. This is just too special not to watch for as long as we possibly can, especially on a warm evening like this. There he goes. Let's see if he turns back again. I'm saying he. Oh, it could be a sheep. No idea. Look at him, Dave. He's good. Mm -hmm. He's making him off. He must be impeccable. Getting off into the darkness there. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much. It's